adsense CPM rates are usually lower in Q1, Q2 and gradually increases in Q3 and Q4 due to higher advertiser demand. In this video, we are going to learn how we can increase our adsense earnings, CPM and CPC rates as well as overall website revenue. Make sure you watch this video till the end and do subscribe to the Daily Digital channel and do not forget to hit that bell icon. Use Responsive AdSense Ad Units When you're using Responsive AdSense Ad Units, it automatically optimizes the ad size based on the visitor's device. That means that on a mobile device, the ad sizes would be 300 cross 250. On a desktop, it can be 750 cross 300, 600 cross 300, or any other sizes which would you know fit in with the visitor's desktop or mobile or other device types in fact. This ensures that all the different ad sizes are enabled for bidding and the ad which gives the highest CPC bids are automatically displayed on the publisher website resulting in much higher revenue than fixed ad sizes. The second tip which I have for you is that you shouldn't be using a 728 cross 900 top bar ad unit. This is because this particular ad unit has the lowest CTR. However, since this ad unit loads in the first go, this means that Google AdSense automatically allocates the highest CPC bid to this particular ad unit then the overall earnings potential for that particular ad unit is minimized. Therefore, using this particular ad unit would eventually reduce your overall AdSense earnings. Coming up to the third point, using a 300 cross 600 sidebar ad unit enables you to increase your overall AdSense revenue. This is particularly because this particular ad size has very high demand in the open auction and there are a lot of advertisers who place CPM bids on this particular ad unit. So the overall competition of the CPC ads, CPM ads and the CPE ads are much higher for this particular ad size and therefore the earning potential is also very high for this particular ad size. Experiment with link units. Link units tend to perform quite well on uh, specific niche websites. Therefore, I suggest you to experiment with link units because on specific sites, link units tends to outperform the display ad units and you can experiment by using a responsive link unit or a 200 cross 90 link unit ad size. Sometimes link units can give you CPMs and CPC rates as high as $1 or in fact even more. Show match content ads. Using match content and match content ads not only increases your overall earning potential but also the uh, time on site and average visitor duration and page views. An increase of these metrics would eventually be uh, boiling down to increasing the overall revenue of your website because whenever a visitor clicks on uh, suggested links within your website, they automatically lands to another particular uh, page in your website and the chances of clicking on an ad or you know viewing an ad increases, thereby enhancing the viewability for CPM ads and click-through rate for uh, CPC ads. Do not use too many ad units. There are a lot of publishers who keeps on, you know, like using too many ad units, but essentially what happens is they see lower AdSense revenue when too many ads are there. This is particularly because as you use too many ad units, the CPC rates of the ad units gradually decreases. Whereas if you use an optimal number of ads, for example, five ads, four ads or six ads, then the CPC of the ads are automatically balanced. So the thumb rule over here is, if the ad density increases, the CPC of the ads gradually decreases. So we have to come to a very balanced placement where the CTR is maintained and only the high paying ads are being clicked by the visitors. These are the overall tips which can effectively increase your overall AdSense earnings. Now coming up to the next part of the video where how you can increase your overall website revenue by adding on some more uh, additional ad networks along with Google AdSense use CPM ads. Now Google AdSense is a CPC ad network but Google Ad Exchange and other third-party ad networks they run on CPM models. So therefore if you incorporate another SSP or a CPM ad network along with Google AdSense it would help you to increase your overall website revenue. My preferred recommendation for using a good CPM based ad network is setup ad. The link for the setup ad is there given in the description below or you can also click on the i button on the top right. Use native ads. If you have good traffic coming from tier 1 countries, I strongly recommend you to use native ads like RefContent or Tabula because the CPC rates for these countries are quite high. Adding a native ad unit just below the content or in the sidebar would 
essentially increase your overall ad revenue by 20 to 30 percent. Use video ads. During Q3 and Q4, advertisers tend to spend a lot on video ads, thereby the demand for the video inventory is very high and you can experience CPMs as high as 2 to 3 dollars for tier 2 and tier 3 countries and 8 to 10 dollars for tier 1 countries. So if you are using video ads, then automatically your overall ad revenue increases and you can expect somewhere around 30 to 40 percent of incremental revenue of your regular AdSense revenue when you incorporate a video ad widget. The video ad network which I would recommend uh, for you guys is video.ai. You can directly click on the i button for the video.ai link or you can you know check the description section to have access to the video.ai sign up link. Use push notification ads. Push notification ads are a major source of revenue where you do not need to show ads on your website in fact. So whenever a visitor turns into a subscriber, these push notification ad netbooks automatically sends uh, push ads to these visitors via browsers and you get to uh, generate revenue whenever a click is being registered. This can give you uh, 20 to 30 percent of your regular AdSense income and you know by combining push notification ads, video ads and native ads you can almost double your overall earnings. So these are the ways through which you can increase your overall website revenue, increase your AdSense earnings and at some times if your niche is relevant you can also incorporate some affiliate links for the increase your overall ad revenue. If you want to know more more about ad optimization based through which publishers and webmasters can increase their overall website revenue. Do not forget to check out our publishers playlist where you, there are a lot of videos which actually talks about ad tech and uh, specifically on uh, ways to monetize your ad inventory. If you happen to like this video make sure you subscribe to the daily digital channel, give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to hit that bell icon.